Hello, Simon Gorsworth here with another episode of Rio's how-to videos. Today we're going to look at a casting technique called the double haul. Now the double haul is an unbelievably useful casting technique. It gives you more distance, gives you great ability to cast into a wind, it makes casting easier and effortless, and it's absolutely essential if you're ever going to go into saltwater fishing to learn how to double haul. Now a lot of people know about double haul and a lot of people put themselves off learning double haul because it can be hard to learn. But we're going to take a look at a couple of easy tips here at how to learn the double haul in a simple way. So the most important thing here, probably more important than almost anything else in terms of what we've talked about, is that you start off with a shooting head, a short shooting head outside your rod. This is a 30 foot shooting head we make at Rio called the outbound short shooting head, just 30 foot long. And I've attached it here to some very, very thin, hard nylon called slick shooter. This is 25 pound slick shooter. So I've got a heavy head, I've got a very thin shooting line here, and together this combination will make learning double hauling very, very easy. I've also got a heavier rod size. This is a seven weight. I step up a nice heavy size, just give lots of weight to make this as easy as possible. First thing to understand is the importance of bending the rod. A bent rod is what makes the rod flex and cast for you. The more the rod bends, the more efficient the cast is. So when you have a rod flexed like this, you can increase the flex by tightening the line, the haul. Look at that flex there. See that rod will really fire with that big flex into it. Contrary to that is if you give line slack. So if, I'm, if my rod hands come together, I lose the flex in the rod. And that means the rod's not going to cast. So tightening or hauling is good, slackening is bad. And double haul, my dad taught fly fishing, he taught me teaching and taught me how to cast and a whole load of things. One of the earliest things he said to me is, son, you're going to learn this the army way. You're going to learn this one step at a time because it's easy. And so double hauling is about as easy as this. You're going to make a back cast with your right hand. And you're going to make a front cast with your right hand. And at the same time, your left hand is going to do two movements for each one movement. Now that sounds confusing, but I'm going to show you how easy it is. So the double haul, I'm a right-handed caster. I hold the rod in my right hand. I hold the line in my left hand. Hands are separate. I'm not, the right hand's not touching the line. I've got that three to four feet of overhang outside the rod. And then my right hand's going to make a back cast. But at the same time as my right hand makes my normal back cast, my left hand is going to do something different. It's going to pull away from the rod. That pull is the haul. That's a single haul because I pulled once. That pull is the haul. Let's show you that again. Bring your two hands up. And then at the moment where your rod rotates, your left hand pulls the line away in front of you like this. That's the haul. That's number one. The timing of the haul is pretty important. Don't leave your left hand behind like this because you're not gaining tension by hauling. Instead, make sure your two hands come up together, 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 and then they separate like that. Haul. Now, because this is a double haul, you're going to do the same thing on the forward stroke. You're going to apply another haul on the forward stroke to make the double haul. But of course, you can't do two hauls when your arm's already extended. And so in between the hauls, there's what's called the feed. So you haul, and then your right hand stays absolutely motionless and your hands come together like this. You're feeding, you're bringing your left hand to your right hand. Now your hands are together, you start the forward stroke, haul, you stop here again, and you feed your hands together. So the numbers, that army thing, if you like, come up, one, stop. Have a cup of tea, pizza, whatever you like, break, wait, think about it, keep your right hand still, Two, when your hands are together, start your forward stroke. Three, keep your hands still, and four. So those are your four components of the double haul. Practice that till you kind of get comfortable with it. And then when you're comfortable, you move on to stage two. And stage two is like this. You don't do four movements in four separate moves. You go one, two, Three, four. So you still let your back cast land on the ground. One, two, three, four. And a good analogy is to think your hand is a tennis ball, bouncing. When you finish your haul, it goes boing straight up. 
and down here, boing, straight up. You don't want to haul and hold and then try and feed because you won't get any feed. So that's the second step is you guide one and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. When you're familiar with that, guess what the next stage is? Put it all that together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you've got your double hole going into a fluid rhythm. And the fluid rhythm is what it takes to get it ingrained into you and to get this into your system. So the point about the one, two, three, four, or about this simple breaking it down style is you're not trying to learn everything at once. You're trying to learn it in stages. The first thing you learn is you just come up and you do a back cast and you haul. That's all you do. And then you can, if you want, you just start again, you put the line in front and you just haul. And you do that until you're comfortable with the haul. And then when you're comfortable with the haul, here, then you keep your hand still, your left hand drifts back to it, and you're ready for the forward stroke. Then you come on the forward stroke, and you haul, and you feed. One, two, three, and four. And while you learn it on grass is you can stop every time between the casting strokes and not worry about the line tangling or snagging or anything like that. So learning anything that's tricky in these little steps is so much easier to do. So that's how easy it is to learn your double haul. You start with the right outfit, you get yourself a nice short shooting head like this outbound short, a nice thin shooting line, you go to your local park, you learn it the army style, one, two, three, four, break it down till you get each section right, and then when you get each section right, you put them all together. That's how easy it is to learn your double haul. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of how to, how to learn the double haul. And if you did, then don't hesitate to tune in and watch another episode of Rio's how-to videos. Thanks for watching.